I've been all around the world and back around the world to find myself, to reach my goals, to find my dreams. When I'm away, to wash away, I explore. I've been all around the world and back around the world to find myself, to reach my goals, to find my dreams. When I'm away, to wash away, I explore. I've been all around the world and back. Okay, this is August 4th, 2011. Uh, this is day 53, I believe. Uh, I am in Croker Bay. Uh, it, it's a nice big bay on the northern side of Northwest Passage, just as you come in. I'm about 50 miles into the passage, so I'm not very far. Uh, combination of reasons. First off, I'm a bit early, so there's still quite a bit of ice in the middle of the passage. And if I would have went further in and tried to go into a bay up there, I would have run the risk of the ice pack that moves around quite a bit getting shoved in there and trapping me or crushing me so i need to stay away from the ice pack so it was a pretty safe place down here it kind of reminds me of a fjord more than a bay because it's about 900 feet deep there's mountains on either side there's a glacier down there on that end then if you turn left and keep going down there's a smaller one at the end down there glaciers produce a lot of ice so there's a two three hundred icebergs in this little area um, most of them run aground on either side of the bay where it's shallow but there's quite a few floating around for the most part since i'm on my parachute sea anchor uh i float i don't really float the same as them but i float very slowly and, and it usually works out i have had to use my boat hook to push a couple of icebergs away from my boat the big concern is that my parachute sea anchor gets fouled in a big iceberg and the iceberg could rip it up really quickly so I have to make sure that that doesn't happen. So I got to pay a bit of attention. It's not the same as being on anchor in some pleasant anchorage because I'm always drifting around. I have to be. It's a nonstop trip. So I can drop an anchor. I can hope to a sea anchor because then I'm just drifting. But I did explore my way up the bay quite a bit um, yesterday. Made it up there by the glacier and it was really beautiful. And I drank some sake and had a great time. And now I've just been drifting back around again, uh, getting ready to head out. I'm back on my way in Lancaster Sound, and now I'm heading down the Northwest Passage. It's a little foggy out, nothing really to see out there but some icebergs. Um, I'm getting more and more little ice. Uh, little ice is dangerous because it's hard to see, and uh, with the following seas behind me, the wave would pick me up and drop me right down on top of the iceberg. So I need to be real careful to avoid the small ice and the big ice. I need to avoid all ice, you know? This is not an icebreaker. I must avoid all the ice. I think I've been up for about, I don't know, I've been up for probably 30 hours straight now. I don't really feel tired, but um, I've got 133 miles before Peel Sound. At some point between here and there, I should try to get a decent chunk of sleep. Uh, if the wind dies, I'll do it. I don't know, maybe I'll heave too. But um, I'm going to be awake for another 24 hours probably. Peel Sound is about 50% open on the north side and about 5% open on the south side. South of Peel Sound, there's still a lot of ice. I'm still a bit early. I am the only boat, the only sailboat in the Northwest Passage right now. All the other boats are still way behind me. Um, some boats surprisingly far back. But I guess people figure they come here and just blow right through. I don't know. I got to deal with getting around Alaska. I got to get to Cape Horn. So I need to get through the passage and move on with my trip. Uh, I really enjoy it here. But at the same time, I get tired of not sleeping. It would be nice to sail somewhere without all the ice so I can actually go to bed and get a decent night's rest. But that will happen soon enough. And I've still got a lot of Northwest Passage ahead of me, and I look forward to it. Today is day 56. This is August the 8th. I think last time I did a check, I was in uh, Croker Bay. From Croker Bay, I went back out into Lancaster Sound. I had easterly winds at 10 to 15 knots. Uh, I had quite a bit of fog, but that's nothing, you know, I've had so much fog, I'm desensitized to it. Because here I sit, the reason I sit is because Peel Sound still had a bit of ice in it. Ice that I couldn't get through on a boat this size. I needed like a metal hull, steel hull or something. So I've been just sitting here waiting. Uh, it became flat calm today. Beautiful day. There's absolutely no wind. It is flat calm. Uh, it's so relaxing. 
uh, just to sit here with the boat barely moving and there's seals are chasing fish not far from my boat. This is Barrow Strait. Behind me is Somerset Island. Over there is Griffith Island. And Peel Sound is just around the corner. Tomorrow I head down Peel Sound into the ice. I'll get up first thing in the morning. I will pull the pair of anchor and I will head south through Peel Sound. The next 600 miles are the most technical. This is where all the explorers got screwed up. And, you know, they, a lot of the explorers made it this far in the early days. But going south or going west is where all the problems happened. So I'm going to be going into some tricky areas. I hope that I can avoid the pack ice for the most part. But the pack ice could surround me and crush me like a paper cup. Or it could push me into the coast and leave me shipwrecked. Um, but that's why I'm waiting here. I'm waiting here to let it uh, melt just a bit more. With these couple of beautiful days that I've had, it should help to melt the ice. And, uh, and then I'll be on my way.